Dr. Lesavoy has been telling us about the different options for enhancement, but what if your problem is just the opposite? Can there be too much of a good thing? Well, there can be, actually, uh, either if the implants are too large for augmentation or if a woman is born with uh, very large breasts, they can have quite a bit of uh, some problems. Uh, and what are the problems that women with large breasts can experience? Uh, specifically, they can have and usually do have either pain in their breasts per se, they have rashes underneath or between their breasts, they have back pain and neck pain, uh, they have uh, grooving in their shoulders from, from their the shoulder bra, straps, yeah. uh, and they have very poor posture because they're embarrassed by the size right. and so they're always kind of trying to hide or they can't participate in everyday sports because of the bras, uh, because of their breast size. And, and speaking from personal experience, who has, uh, I've had reduction implant lift after the baby, but the, the biggest problem is clothes, is that you can't wear bikinis. Um, they don't make bras that size, backless things. As in high school, as a cheerleader, the little outfits that the girls wear, you know, these little halter things, it's like, forget it, you look like one big watermelon. Especially for younger women, it's emotionally very, a very difficult thing. Yeah, it's embarrassing. And, um, uh, I can tell you that I see patients in, in all plastic surgeons, see patients from their late teens or early 20s all the way to their 70s and 80s for reduction mammoplasty to have their breast sizes reduced. And I can tell you that of all the patients that we have, these patients are the happiest. <laughs>